this way we can both you know win in this situation because then Ryan gets his surprise <laughs> and I get to know the gender before nine months so yeah, exactly. <laughs> So Priya and I decided to sit down today and talk about gender with you guys because it's a topic that's come up a lot recently. Uh, we've seen it in the comments section. So many of you guys asking, uh, you know, whether or not we know yet what the gender is going to be, how we're going to find out, when we can find or out, if we're going to find or out, or if we're going to find yeah. out. Yes, yeah, so many <laughs> questions, and we thought today we would sit down and sort of lay it all out for you guys and let you know exactly what our thoughts are, what our plans are, and how we're going to tell all of you. Yeah, so even before I was pregnant, Ryan and I kind of had this this talk about whether or not we we're going to find out the gender. Ryan likes to be surprised. Love surprises. <laughs> he loves surprises, and I don't. I'm super, super curious, so I could not, there's no way that I would go throughout, through a whole pregnancy without knowing the gender of our baby. So we kind of try to compromise when it comes to yeah. finding out the gender. <laughs> I think I won. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. Sort yeah. of. Kind of. I sort think we both won. We yeah, both everybody won. wins here. So what we're doing is, yes, we're finding out the gender and we believe that that yeah. would be in the 14 week ultrasound. This is what we're hoping for. Yeah. That's what our doctor said yeah. to us. He thinks there's a good shot that in about four weeks, based on how things are moving forward right now, that he'll know. But you have to be very flexible and bear with us because you know it might take longer based on what he can see and yeah. how the little one is positioned inside of there yeah and if it's if he can actually have a clear shot maybe yeah. he will have a really good idea and he can say hey guys I'm positive that this is a boy or a girl yeah. but we don't know we're hoping that 14 weeks is the money shot but we don't know <laughs> <laughs> and we've already had to have the conversation with him like hey you can't tell us like, yeah you're not allowed just to be like it's a girl. <laughs> no, he knows. And you guys know that we have our, our ultrasound doctor, Dr. Carlos, and you know. Who is awesome. Who is awesome. Who, One of our favorite people ever. Exactly. And uh, we already had this conversation with him mm -hmm. that we do want to find out the gender, but what our plan is, and what we're hoping that will work out, is that he just writes down the gender in an envelope, he seals the envelope, and we won't be able to see it. Then, it's gonna be so hard for you. I know. Come home with I'll be the like envelope, looking, <laughs> holding it up. <laughs> holding it up. Yeah. I'll be like, Just, stop that. Stop it. <laughs> That's true. But I'm gonna give the envelope to my sister or my mom. Maybe your sister. Maybe my she's sister. She's better in secrets. Yeah, my mom. I think if my mom knows, it's going to be so evident on her face, and it's going to be so clear, and she's so transparent that I think will be a disaster. She's going to mean well, but yeah. So then we'll give it to my sister, and our plan at the moment is that we'll have a gender review party, and that's what we're planning on. Because why not throw a party if you've got a good excuse to throw a party? Yeah. So. This way we can both you know, win in this situation because then Ryan gets his surprise <laughs> and I get to know the gender before nine months. So. Yeah, exactly. I, that's the rubs. I would actually yeah. be okay waiting. Like, yeah. it's a... And yeah. Priscilla is not going to allow yeah, that wait. to happen. And There's that's no fine. Way. And it's better this way also because then we have the chance to, I mean, I guess obviously accumulate things that yeah. are not all gender neutral. You know, we can yeah. get, some, get some pink, get some blue if right. we do. Just. Although we will talk more about our taste as far as like mm -hmm. baby clothes and stuff. Some of you guys actually asked us because um, you know we were curious to know what our taste is for for baby clothes and and and, and whatnot. And I, I think we both prefer lots of like gender neutral colors and, and things like that. But yeah. we need to know the gender. We need to know for our own, <laughs> for my own sake. Priscilla needs to know the gender. <laughs> yeah. So anyways, what we're thinking is a gender review party. Mm -hmm. And our idea at the moment is that we're going to have a cake made with either blue or pink inside. And of course the outside frosting will be, you know, Gender no, neutral. Gender neutral. <laughs> <laughs> and um, we're going to have some friends and family over yep. and we're going to have a review for everybody and for ourselves as well. And I think that will be super fun because yeah. we'll it's going to... have the camera out, yeah, capture and we're gonna, the whole bit. We are. We're going to vlog definitely and obviously we're going to post it for you guys after the party's 
is over and we're gonna tell you what the gender yeah. is. I think this is going to be a fun way to do it. I uh, just, I like the idea very much of yeah. that first slice. And yeah. Then seeing the look on your face. Oh too. my gosh. It's seeing the look be, on my face. It's going to be very, very fun and interesting because I don't think I think much at this point mm -hmm. about the gender. Even though a lot of you guys have pointed out that I keep referring to the baby as he. Yeah. But I'll tell you, because I speak Portuguese, which is a romantic language, the baby in Portuguese has an assigned gender and the gender is male. So everything in a romantic language is assigned gender, right? <laughs> so it's some, sometimes it's complicated. Right. So I think yeah, my shirt is female. <laughs> Alchemy, yes. That's right. so I, I had to think about that for a second. Yeah, it's true. But everything is either you know objects are either female or male, animals are either female or male, and things that we can assign gender in English, for example, are assigned uh, gender in Portuguese. So the baby is usually referred as mm -hmm. o bebê. So it's you know it is a, a he. Yeah. When you talk about so it. So this may be the constant yeah. slip of the tongue. This it may be the be. reason. Or <laughs> you, the mother, are somehow connected. dialed in, connected emotionally yeah. to this little one. And you are telegraphing <laughs> to all of us the truth. We'll find out. We'll find out when we cut the in cake. In four more weeks when we get the card and yeah. when, we, when we bake the cake, yeah. so to speak. Do you think when we actually have the party and we cut into the cake, do you think it'll be... An emotional moment, or do you think it'll just be like super exciting? Like, oh my gosh! I think what do you both. Think? I think both. Yeah. I think during this pregnancy, I've laughed and cried together so much <laughs> that I think it will be maybe a moment like this. But I think for me, it will be more like, oh, like emotion, emotion, but like in the sense of you know, big smile and mm -hmm. just like happy, happy emotion. Yeah. It will be regardless of what it is, it's going to be one of those moments that solidifies everything and somehow right. I think makes it more real. Right. So uh, I'm very excited. I mean, yeah. I love like monumental moments like that. And I think, you know, the moment you're pregnant, that's one thing. The moment you find out the gender, that's, the that's another. So yeah. I think that'll just be crazy. I'm excited. And before we actually know the gender 100% of your ultrasound, we are thinking about, you know, making videos and doing those those uh, old school wife tales uh, gender prediction tests. Right. So if you guys like that idea, give this video a thumbs up so we can actually do it. I think we're going to start, you know, trying to predict the gender. Yeah. And let <laughs> us know like what your thoughts are. Let us know if yeah. you have uh, a thought already on what the gender is going to be. If you know any of these like old wives tales about like yeah. if this happens, then it's going to be yeah. a boy or a girl. Let us know because we're thinking like it would be fun maybe to put one or two of them to the test. Yeah. So just keep ourselves occupied and to keep our minds off of it. So yeah. share it all with us. We would yeah. love to hear it down in the comments section. Definitely. Another thing that we've talked about is whether or not we think it's going to be one gender or the other because we really don't have either of us a preference. Yeah, we, yeah. we neither of us have a preference. I think we would be happy with, you know, whether it is a girl mm -hmm. or a boy, but it's funny to think because my, I think for a long time in my life, I was sure that I was going to have a girl. Sure, like from a very young age, even yeah. when we met, remember? From the very beginning. Be from the very beginning, knew that I knew it was that was going, going to be a girl. girl. Yep, you had a name picked out and everything. We have a name, <laughs> but this is going <laughs> to be another, another video. video yeah. <laughs> um, but as of lately, I don't know why boys have been on my mind, and I think mm. about you know, I have this this feeling about. It. A boy maybe but I thought yeah. for so long that our baby would be a girl at some point so I don't know we're just lucky to have a baby <laughs> I think when you have gone through as much as we've gone through yeah. to get to where we are right yeah. now and again, we'll say it not for the last time here we take nothing for granted and we still have so far to go so long yeah. to go until we feel 100% secure in this we we count our blessings daily. Yeah. But you know, we're 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 so grateful for where we are right now. We'll be grateful regardless of the sex. And do I think it's going to be a boy or a girl? I think that my wife has incredible intuition, <laughs> and she thought it was going to be a girl once upon a time. But she's she's made the 180, and I think that she's probably right. So that's if I have to 
cast my official, uh, yeah, my official ballot here. I'm guessing that we're going to have a boy, but time will tell, and we're going to love him or her either way. <laughs> it's true, absolutely. So yeah. we're just gonna have to wait and see, yeah. just a little bit longer. Yeah. Just a little hang bit longer. There. Hang <laughs> there with us. We would be so so happy to find out if you guys had any suggestions for Wife's Tales uh, gender prediction. We have one in mind, the the purple cabbage one. And there are a few other ones that I saw on YouTube, but I would love to know your suggestions. Please leave them below. And also, leave below if you think that we're gonna have a boy or a girl. Yeah. A lot of you already expressed your opinions, but we're interested in, you know, to know what you think and why you think it so far. And what's made you think that also? Like, what has led you to this belief? The Was size. It the size, the heartbeat. Yeah. What is it? You know, what, what, why do you think Just it's a boy or a girl? fashion intuition. Yeah. Let us know in the comments below because we would love to hear what yeah. you guys have to say. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up <laughs> and leave one of those uh -huh. lovely comments down low. And subscribe if you haven't. And we'll see you guys back again soon in our next video. Bye. Bye. There's so many ways to escape.